everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Genesis and if you're already part of the fam, welcome back. So as you can see, on my left side of my face is paralyzed. I have actually developed Ball's, Bell's palsy and uh, this is me um, day 11 actually of having it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read you the definition of it just because I know a lot of people don't know about it. I didn't know um, exactly what Bell's palsy was, um, but I do know that it's basically the seventh cranial nerve that connects from my eyebrows to my nose to my mouth and it's either like swollen or compressed. Um, mine is swollen. <clears throat> um, as you can see, I mean, I'm having some trouble reading just because I'm having some anxiety, you need to chill out. But um, this is a video that I was really actually contemplating on doing just because, I mean, but anyways. So, Bell's palsy is a condition that causes a temporary weakness or paralysis of the muscles in the face. And um, it can occur when the nerve can, that controls your facial muscles, I can't even talk, let's go ahead and let that out. Um, becomes inflamed, swollen, or compressed. In most cases, Bell's palsy is temporary and symptoms usually go away after a few weeks. On day 11. It's been a week and a half. It still hasn't gone away. Anyways, so I got my tissue and my water ready. First of all, water, I get like super thirsty and super dehydrated, but that's not because of the Bell's palsy. Um, tissue, just in case I cry, you know, because I'm pregnant and all. And I have my little baby girl's crib and stuff set up in the background just because it's so cute and I can't get over it. But, um, yeah, so also my eye cries a lot. So you might see me blotting my eye a lot. Um, I think everybody that has reached out and asked me how it is that I'm doing and hope the best for me. Um, also the people that don't treat me any different just because I know, you know, obviously I empathize with, um, everybody else that uh, goes through this or anything like that. Um, I never really saw anybody any different anyways, but there is a lot of people that will look at me and just stare or um, just try to figure out like what's wrong with me, right? And there's nothing wrong with you if you have Bell's palsy. It's just something that happens and you actually don't even know why. The doctors couldn't even tell me why. This light is like really irritating my eyes. Anyways, so, um, First of all, I'm going to be 35 weeks tomorrow, okay? Let's show you my belly. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but this is baby girl. She's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what she looks like, but she's cute as fuck. So, um, yeah, so this, is, this has been a really difficult um, 11 days. Um, initially, when it first started, um... It was something that I didn't, I didn't really know it was happening until like I tried to brush my teeth in the morning. Like for example, what was it Sunday? Let's say it was a Sunday, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my breath a lot. Like she's like all up in my lungs or my ribs. So, um, let's say Sunday. So Sunday morning I brush my teeth, right? And I get this new mouthwash and this new toothbrush and toothpaste so i'm like ooh, i'm gonna try these out like y'all know that like i'm hella into my fucking teeth right so i'm brushing 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 and i'm like what the fuck like as soon as i try the new toothpaste like my tongue goes numb and i was like holy shit like i'm hella allergic to this shit and it was a new toothpaste like a new brand i don't even know what the fuck it was god i can't breathe <laughs> so <laughs> So I'm brushing my teeth, my tongue starts going numb, and then I use a tooth, tooth, uh, sorry, not toothpaste, oh my god, pregnancy brain, mouthwash. <laughs> this fucking bitch. Okay, I use this new mouthwash, and then the mouthwash, um, completely, like, the whole left side of my tongue is numb, and, like, the tip, the tip of both sides and, like, my left side, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, I should not have done that. And then I go about my day, go to Costco, run errands, come back. 
still feel that way. And it was the feeling of like, I don't know if you guys have ever like tried a really hot soup and it like burns the shit out of your tongue and it just goes like tingly and numb. Like that's exactly what I felt. And it was just so sensitive. And I was just like, holy shit, like what the fuck is going on? <sighs> Didn't think anything of it. Later on that night, my eye starts twitching, right? And I'm like, mofo, like you need to stop stressing me out. Like my eye is twitching right now. And like, whatever, go to sleep, right? Next day, I'm getting ready for work. And I'm like, okay, like, let's go ahead and do this, start doing my makeup. And then, um, I don't know why, I guess I did, I did my makeup first. And then I brushed my teeth. <laughs> so um, when I was brushing my teeth, I'm spitting, I'm trying to spit out the toothpaste, right? And I'm like, like my shit's going off to the side and I was like oh fuck like I'm having a stroke right now but I need to go to work because I need to make more money right but at the same time like I don't have any of the symptoms like my left side of my arm or nothing like was going numb nothing was tingling um I wasn't like slurring my words at all so um I'm like okay this probably isn't a stroke but um, one of my coworkers has, had actually told me about this before and, um, she had told me like to keep a, an eye out for it. And I think she told me like Angelina Jolie had it, like when she split out, sleep split up from Brad Pitt. And I'm just saying like, that's stressful, right? Like breakups are stressful, but anyways, so I'm like, holy shit. Like I'm hella stressing out, whatever. I'm driving to work get to work text my boss and I'm like hey dude like I need you to take a look at my face because I think I'm having a stroke or something she didn't read my text till I got there but um like until I walked in and like I had sat down for like 30 minutes already and then she went into my office like dude I just read your text but I had already like when I got in there I'm like okay you need to look at my face look at my face right now so I'm like smiling and stuff and like at that time, like, I'm going to insert some clips because I actually took pictures of it because I'm like, no, like, something is happening to my face. I can feel it. And, like, I could see that, like, my dimple was, like, lower on this side than this side. And I was like, that's not normal. Like, obviously, I know how my dimples look. Yeah, I slobber. So... <sighs> So, um, I'm freaking out and then, um, my boyfriend actually ends up getting out of work and he goes to pick me up. Thank you so much. So, um, he loves me so much. I love you. So <laughs> I'm going to cry. Um, so he takes me to the ER, but basically the ER doctor was like, um, He's like, yeah, so it looks like you're developing Bowel's palsy. But he said muscle weakness. He said, it looks like you're developing muscle weakness in your left side. And I'm like, is that Bowel's palsy? And he's like, well, you're not, um, your case is not severe enough to be called Bowel's palsy. And I'm like, what the fuck? But like, they want to see a droopy face, you know, because at that time, at that point, like I literally went from work to there. So that was like eight, 9 a.m when I actually got seen by the doctor, but it takes hours for your face to fully like paralyze. So by the time I was out of there, like one o'clock, um, my face was fully paralyzed. So it was actually a lot worse than this. So, um, yeah, at that point, like he didn't see me and he didn't diagnose it as bowel palsy, but at that point he just called it like muscle weakness. And I think it was like, um, some other vitamin that I was like 0.5 or 1.5 like lower or something like magnesium that I was like 1.5 lower magnesium so he's like I'm just gonna prescribe you some magnesium and then eventually they were like oh you can't get that because it's over the counter that's a whole nother story it doesn't even matter so um he starts telling me to do things which I'm gonna do right now for you guys so that you guys can see I'm sure you guys have seen it this whole time that I'm talking but um yeah so the first one he actually um he made me do like the whole arms thing i told him that i didn't have any other problems with my body it was just my face so he told me he asked me to raise my eyebrows and at that time like i said i was able to do that 
So this is me raising my eye, both eyebrows. I'm trying to raise both eyebrows and it actually, I feel a strain on this side, um, which is probably good because I don't remember if I felt that yesterday. So that's good. <laughs> so yeah, my eyebrow won't move up and I am doing a facial massages to myself as well. And then my nostril won't move at all. Okay, that's me flaring my nostrils. And then when I smile, it's just this side. Ugh, my eyes getting dry again. It's really hard to eat. It's hard to go about my day because I can't do anything. Light um, is a very, um, I guess it strains my eye. Um, I can't go outside like at noon or like in the mornings when it's like super brighter than my future outside because it fucking hurt my eye and I'm just like, and like, I look retarded as fuck. So, um, usually I wear, um, sunglasses and, um, actually yesterday was the first time I ever wore makeup, like within these 11 days, just because I felt so ugly. I like, it sounds so, you know, bad to say that just because something like this is happening, but it's not the face that you saw every morning, you know? So I'm getting a little emotional. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like everywhere I've been going, like they just stare. Um, today I went to my local Cosmoprof. Shout out to Maya and Lista. Um, I love you guys so much. They were so nice to me and they just made me feel comfortable. Like I like when people make me feel comfortable and they're just like, it's okay. Like you're still beautiful. Like it's going to go away. Chill out. And like, it was like nothing. Like it was just like a fucking pimple. You know, like, it was just like, oh, okay. Oh, you got that? Oh, that's nice. Like, like, it'll go away. It's fine. But then I have other people um, just going to, like, the grocery store or uh, to, like, appointments. Not to, like, doctor appointments, but, like, other stuff. And they were just like, <laughs> they were just like, what? Like, Made me feel like I had something in my teeth and nobody told me all day. Like, that bad. I know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I'm just talking and, like, I can feel myself just, like, strain the side of my face. And it's just like, ah, like, like if I laugh in this video, like, super hard, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Because I really look really funny. But, um, yeah, I wink a lot more, you know, since this side doesn't fucking move. And, um, I can't, like, like, I was craving Jamba Juice for, like, three days, and I finally got it yesterday, and I wasn't even able to suck on the fucking straw, first of all, because the drink was too, woo, girl, she's fucking, she ain't camera shy, she's trying to come out and fucking play, <sighs> give me a second, <laughs> my life. Earlier, I saw my, my stomach move like a fucking alien, and I was like, oh my god. So, <laughs> what was I? Um, <clears throat> so, oh, I went to Jamba Juice, and the drink, you know, it's like all thick and stuff, and it's super good. So, couldn't even suck on that straw. Like, I have to, like, like hold this side of my mouth to, like, really grip it, because, um, look, I'm going to try and pucker for you guys, or, like, whistle, and, like, this side stays open, because it don't, it doesn't, like, grip like this is me puckering and then this is me trying to whistle <sighs> so that like that I have to like hold this side closed so I was like drinking my juice like this I can't suck on anything <sighs> okay Genesis you can stop with the jokes now it's not this is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Ooh. I just found a new way of doing it. So I want to just try and keep you guys updated. Um, kind of like a recovery video of how long this actually takes. Because, um, I mean, I actually have only seen one improvement these 11 days. And, like, Victor and, like, my family are, like, 
no dude like you're getting better like it was so much worse and maybe like the from the from the first day like i can't even talk like f's s's and what else frank sauce face that's i already said f it was another letter but uh, you know fuck stupid bitch like i can't cuss i can't even cuss right so no <laughs> seriously all seriousness um this is just something that i have already gotten comfortable with because there's it's really nothing i can control um <clears throat> and yeah time is gonna pass it's just gonna depend on how long i take because some people do get better within like the first two weeks um it said two to three weeks up to three to six months some people in rare cases actually take years and ugh, i feel so bad um i'm just so scared at this point not scared um just a little i guess it's a little unfortunate or i'm a little disappointed just because like you know baby girl's gonna come in a couple weeks um as of tomorrow i'd be or my due date would be five weeks from next week and you know I mean this is like what I'm gonna she's gonna see I guess I she doesn't know any different or like will know that like this is not like what her mom looks like normally or something like but as it, it, this doesn't affect her at all um they did prescribe me some um steroids and they also said that that did it wouldn't affect them or affect her oh damn i'm trying to fucking get myself twins uh, <laughs> but um yeah so they're saying she's uh perfectly healthy she's growing great she's moving like crazy she's twerking in there she fucking moved right now um but yeah so yeah, as long as she's healthy and comes out great, then I honestly don't care. Um, but this has put a pause um, within the last 11 days just because I did have so much planned. For you guys and for myself, I wanted to do um, so many things that I kind of just put a pause on it just because of this. And I'm not going to let it stop me. So <sighs> I wanted to put this video up for you guys so that I didn't just post like, a fucking like baby mama dance or something and you guys were like why does she look like that and oh my goodness um yeah so i didn't want to put like a video up and you guys just like wonder like okay what's going on with her face but yeah so i wanted to just come on here and explain to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me um the reason why i've been actually mia within like the last few months <laughs> was it months a couple of weeks i guess it was actually because um i started school so i started school in november and i had been wor uh working and going to school in, in the evenings so i wouldn't get off till like 9 30 wouldn't get home till 10 and then like i'd shower go to sleep by that time it was like 11 30 or 12. so um yeah so that that took a lot of time and energy i also feel like <clears throat> that'd probably be um one of the reasons that why this happened i mean like i said before like i honestly do think that stress is like a big um like component of this and the doctors were like no bowel's palsy dude they told me that they honestly couldn't even tell me like why i fucking had it like i'm like well is this stress related like can you take me off of work already <laughs> because like dude like I, I don't know so i ended up going to school that same day i went to school actually no it was the next day it doesn't matter um i went to school and i actually took a leave of absence thankfully they give me six months so that's enough for me to recover hopefully it doesn't take that long but it gives me time to recover as well as recovering from the labor next month god i'm so scared but um i'm super excited we're so excited to meet genevieve so um yeah i 
I don't know what else to say. There's nothing much I could say, I guess. Um, I kind of feel like I was all over the place right now. But, um, I'm sorry. If I keep looking off to the side, it's because the, the light, like, really bothers my eyes. <laughs> but, yeah. So, this is me. Up close and personal. <laughs> so, yeah. Just, um... I wanted to just come on here and let you guys know so if you like this video go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and if you have any questions regarding boss palsy go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below uh, any love and support would be grateful um, if you want to leave a negative comment so be it if it makes your day better I know I've been getting a couple of those lately but thank you for watching <laughs> and yeah on to the next video. I hope you guys loved this and I love you.